Welcome back, and today we have a special guest. We're joined by Laker forward Brendan McLaughlin. And Brent, thank you very much for joining us. How are you doing tonight? Not a problem, Tover. Thank you very much. Now, uh, this squad, first of all, has grown uh, since the beginning of the season. You kind of took your lumps early on and bounced back from it. Um, you know, how has the new talent, along with uh, some recent additions, helped your team? You know, it's been an interesting chemistry. We got a lot of uh, older guys and a lot of younger guys kind of mixing in and out of the lineup. And I think that the uh, the chemistry has come along uh, just as we wanted it to near the end of the season here. And there's been an abundance of seniors on the team, the senior family, obviously, 13 on the team. Uh, what has this group of guys meant to you since you came to Oswego four years ago to kind of grow together? I think we've had a very interesting time together on and off the ice. We've had a lot of accomplishments and uh, a lot of fun doing it. And I think that uh, really we've become like a nice little tight-knit family, and uh, we're just trying to have the right well, send-off this year. You know, and you can kind of see that leader, uh, senior leadership take uh, focus in the playoffs against Geneseo when you took those two two losses against Plattsburgh and then uh, on senior night a couple of years uh, a couple of weeks ago rather uh, do you think that veteran leadership kind of stepped up and and if so what way did you were able to say you know come on let's bounce back from these two losses and get the win in the playoffs well, I think we looked at it as a positive note because um, last year we went up to Plattsburgh thinking we might still have a bid and uh, with those two losses we know we're not looking at a bid we're looking at we either got to beat Plattsburgh or we're done. So I think that uh, Let's the give it a shot for uh, Oh, a big shot for Lagunier. Home, and I think Lagunier that, uh, looking in front for Selick. The, the shot, and it goes in! Game, and I think that's what really it came down to at the start of the game there to get the momentum going. And now moving on to that Plattsburgh game. And uh, obviously, you know, it's, it's been tough going on. You, you last beat them your freshman year, 0-2 against them this season. What would it mean for you? Not only to beat them, uh, you know, in your in your last game against Plattsburgh, but to beat them in order to advance in the playoffs. Well, I think it'd be a pretty sweet vindication on on our part. I think uh, everybody's looking forward to it. Our seasons have always come down to beat Plattsburgh at the end of the season. So I mean, this would be a nice way to end it all, and especially since they know that they're going to be going up there. But, uh, we got a pretty good shot at, at knocking them off at home since it's tough to beat a, t a team three times in a row here. So I think um, right I think we're looking at it the right way. We know that if we lose it out, so as we walk across, we just want to take some away from them. They've been taken away from us for four years now. And, and they had going against uh, arguably one of the best goalies in Division Three, and Brian Hintz. What are some of the things you guys have been working on in practice this week? Obviously, as I mentioned before, unfortunately, the two losses before. Is there anything different that you guys have been prepping for uh, to try to tally goals against uh, against Hintz? Well, I don't think we're focusing too much on hints, but we do understand how, how good of a goalie is and how good of a defense they play. And I think that we haven't done anything too much out of the ordinary in practice, just a little bit more shooting. And as you can see against Geneseo there, we had a lot of shots start off the period, and I think we, uh, we kind of figured out the goalie early. And I think that's what we're going to try and do up in Plattsburgh, you know, get a lot of shots on net because he's the type of goalie that doesn't get, uh, he doesn't get too many uh, good quality shots. But if you saw the last game, uh, we definitely had a lot of quality opportunities, and I think that uh, if we can keep getting those and get a little bit more and actually bear down and score, I think that's going to be a key to our success. Okay, and, and finally, the Tuxedo T-shirt. Is this some class we can see if you beat Plattsburgh going on to the NCAA tournament? More Tuxedo T-shirts. Uh, yeah, my mom gets them for me every year, so it just says that uh, you know that I'm, I'm formal, but I also like to party, so it's like a college thing. All right, all right. For Brendan McLaughlin, thank you very much for sharing your time with us.